Now we'll do the testing in the Postman tool. For doing the testing in the Postman, we require the endpoints which I have already copied from the websites and along with the websites, we also required the, the XRapid API key. So if you're not able to copy the Rapid API key, so in the endpoint, what we have to do, when we click on test point, for testing, we actually require this Rapid API key. To copy this, first you run this test point and go to the code in scripts and here you can copy this code. This will be required in the Postman tool. So here I will copy this code and now first I will execute the first URL in the Postman tool. For this, you should have a login access in the Postman tool. If you don't have any account, do a simple registration on the Postman tool and create one collection. And you can simply click on like add request. Once you click on add request, so here we need to give some name, take like get new secret key. And it's the get method. So here I'm going to pass this URL. That is the get method. And in the authorization tab, here select API key. In the key, we need to enter. We can go back here. In the key, enter the X rapid API key, and in the value, we need to pass the value which is generated for our particular login screen. And keep this header as it is. Those two fields we need to add in the authorization by selecting the authorization type as the API key. Now, as soon as we click on the first, okay, first save this. Now, if you click on send button. So in the output, we can see a new secret key is generated. Okay, so I will make a copy of this new secret key. So this is, we generated a secret key. Now the step number two is enrollment. So again, what I will do, I will just make a duplicate of this. And this time, I will copy the second URL. That is the enrollment URL. In the endpoint, change the URL, and here I will make name as let's say enroll URL. In the secret key, we have to pass the secret key, which is generated in the first steps. So here I'm copying the secret key. This is my secret key. And as I mentioned, the remaining parameters are optional. But here, what we can do, we can use the SAP user ID. Take an example. Second time, I'm using my ID. This is my SAP user ID. And this is also optional. You can do any name here. Take an example. SAP. I will save this. In the authorization, still the same. The API key, the XRP API key the same number which you copy from the websites. So if you click on send, you can see this URL is generated. Copy this URL. Execute. Enter the URL in a browser. So again, we'll get a new scan code. This is, let's assume we are registering for the second user. So I'm going to scan this code into mobile phone. Yes, I done. I can see a new key is added into my Google Authenticator. Now we'll go for third one. Again, I will copy this as it is. And this time I will go with the last one. Postman tool this is the copy URL. Enter the last endpoint here. In the name here, I will enter as validate. 
Now here we need to enter the code which is displayed on mobile phone and here we need to enter the secret key. So I will copy my secret key here. This is a secret key which we have added for a particular user into mobile application. And here I am going to enter the current number which is display on mobile. So let me check my mobile phone. So current number which I can see is 344427. Into authorization, API key, extra rapid API key, and this is key which we have copied from the Google Rapid API Google Authenticator API. Save this and click on send button so you can see the value is true okay so let's wait for some time till it gets fails as now i can see the number is changed on the mobile it is 174 195 but system checks for last two numbers which displayed on a mobile phone so this is still valid again i will try now this time false because now i can see the third number on a mobile phone so this number which is displayed on a mobile application is valid for the 60 seconds. Okay, so after 60 seconds, that authentication will be will be changed into false statement. So in this way, we can testing with all the API three endpoints in the Postman tool. Now next, we will do the implementation of consuming all those three API into SAP system that we'll see into next session.